If it was possible to buy whiskey like Highland Park 25 in a bottle that was this size, I think that's what I would have rather done. Um, that's not really easy, is it? But if you could find someone to maybe share your bottle with, and in return they may gift you something back <laughs> of equal interest, uh, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? And that's what's going on here. It would be great if I could just get blind bottle sizes, because that way you could have many more whiskey experiences for, you know, a lot less spending. So, today I'm bottling up a whole bunch of stuff that um, we'll see what we get in return later. <sighs> Here we go. First off, it's going to be Anok 24. And of course, a lot of these things I haven't tasted myself. It's another reason to just get these bottles out and literally tear off the seal, get them poured into something. We'll time lapse it and pause if something interesting shows up in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Ardbeg Dark Cove. Not the committee release. It's the. Uh, it's the. Actually, hang on. What is this? For, yeah, 40, 46.5 ABV. But still, still Ardbeg Dark Cove. And this one's going in a big bottle. I'm excited to be opening them, even though I'm not going to be drinking. I mean, we will at some point. Bal Blair 1983. So distilled in 83, bottled in 2015. 32 year old Bal Blair. And somehow I've got a. <laughs> I've got a pour it into this little bottle. I think I might go syringe. I think Ben Evers 10 batch one is an interesting one. One of those cask strength monsters. <laughs> Picked that one up in, in Edinburgh. The Ralphie bottle. Ben Nevis, four-year-old, from the Good Spirits Company in Glasgow. Brookladdy Black Art, 23 years. It's the 4.1 edition. And uh, certainly another good choice for a 250ml bottle, I would say. Bonnehaven, Monia Oloroso, 60.1%. This dates back to the first, <laughs> I think it's my first FOMO bottle. Of course, it was one of Roy's reviews, recycled reviews, and uh, just had to go and get one after that. And it's been a year, still haven't got to taste it. But the bottle is now open. And I would say the Pedro Jimenez finish FOMO'd <laughs> very soon after. Ah, look at the colour of that. It's the Glenallachie port finish. Um, for Ralphie's tenure. It's actually a 13 year old whiskey, but even in the sample bottle, it's like rose. Highland Park 25. 
Ooh, it even has a little hologram seal on it. This is one of those bottles that's five, six, seven hundred dollars in the US. <clears throat> I'm sure it's not worth it. <laughs> and there's something quite therapeutic about just, I was gonna say ripping off the label, but it's stuck down with this tab, about uh, just pulling the cork on it. Sort of breaks the mystique a little bit. Bit of the hype. Lagavulin 19, bottled in 2019, so obviously distilled in 2000. Now this is one, got a very slight little hesitation about sharing, <laughs> only because it's one that we picked up at the distillery and um, it was part of our warehouse tasting. Now it's not a single cask, it is a standard festival release or special release. Um, it was Fashil 2019, 53.8%. But actually it's the words of Ian MacArthur in that tasting where he said, it's only whiskey as he poured Coke into this Lagerville in 19 for a lady who said she wanted some. <laughs> Well, here's something to talk about, I think. This is the 2018 edition of Springbank 21. Um, I think it's just a mix of sherry and bourbon, this one. I would have to double check. Of course, it doesn't really say. Hey, it's open. Right, the last one. It's whiskey. <laughs> whiskey drips everywhere here. It's quite a nice blend of a, of a smell going on. So our last one is Gariana. Oh yeah, screw cap. This is the 2018 edition 3 slash 1, Gariana. From Westland Distillery. It's been in our blind tasting for about a year, but hasn't shown up Yeah. There we go. That's quite, I feel kind of um, a bit lighter, like a little bit of a burden's off my shoulders. You go and open, what have we got? You go and open Highland Park 4.1. Uh, you put it alongside, here you go. Brooklady Isle of Barley. What else is in here? Highland Park 21. There's a 25, Talisker 18. Here you go, look. Don't look so different now, do they? Isle of Barley, a young, cheap one, right next to Highland Park 25. Yeah. Stag Junior, Springbank 12. Where's that Springbank 20? There you go, Springbank 21. I must admit, I do quite like the clear glass. <laughs> because <laughs> you can see all the different shades. Some real dark ones. You can spot that Ralphy one in the middle of nowhere. And that's probably the, uh, that's a legit, where's that bunner? It's that super light, clear. Anyway, 
now we have to wait and see what I may get in return. <laughs> oh, return gifts are back. Uh, I'll put it on the floor. Easier. We're safer. So. Let's see. What have we got in return? Amrut Port Nova. Yamazaki, 12 year old. Redbreast, 21 year old. Cavalan Solist, single cask, Vino Barrique. <laughs> Jack Daniels, single barrel, barrel proof. Little book number three, The Road Home. Rebel Yell, 10 year. Uh, Wild Turkey, Decades, Limited edition, uh, 52%. Old Fitzgerald, nine year. Here's the thing, these are bottles that I just wouldn't probably have bought a full bottle and that's the whole point. Old Ezra Brooks, 15 year. I had things that I could share and in return, Elmer T. Lee, single barrel. I have these, oh, W.L. Weller, 12 year. All of these things that are ready to go because <laughs> they're already in our blind bottles. Uh, Weller Antique 107. Green Spot, Leoville Barton, I think. Nine year, 46%. Glendola, Glendola. 13 year. So, red spot, 15 year. This is ex bourbon, sherry, and a masala cask. Let's go for a front row. Yellow spot, 12 year, marsala. <laughs> Nika Takatsura, I think, pure malt. 17 years? Oh, see where you don't have any Japanese whiskies, things that I hadn't seen. Milton Duff, 24 year, old particular bottling. Ardbeg Supernova, 2019. And that will go in contrast with our Ardbeg 2014. There was a, a great uh, trade. Habiki Harmony, 43%. Hakushu, 12 year. Glen Turret, 34 year. And Sander Murray, that one. A 21 year Linkwood from Signatory. Glen Farkless, 25 year. See, now we can contrast. No, it's not out, is it? We have a Glen Farkless 17 year. Little Mill, a 29 year Little Mill. This is old malt cask and is 55.8%. Glendronic 21, so Parliament to compare. And we've got one more. A Macallan, 18 year classic Macallan. So this is like 28 new bottles for no extra cost, just the cost of sharing what we had that someone else wanted. So if anyone in the Bay Area is interested in doing a similar thing, write a comment below or send us an email on the About page. Ooh. Oh, hang on, I forgot. 
Got some minis. I'd forgotten about these ones. Well, not forgotten, but I was just concentrating on the big bottles. Let me clear a little space for the minis. Uh, Booker's 30th anniversary. 62.9%. Single cask nation, Imperial 23. Refill bourbon. That's a 23 year, yeah. Uh, Nika Yoichi. No age statement. 45%. Little book number two. 2018 edition. No simple task. 59.4. ABV. Nika Takatsuru 21. Pure malt. So you can have a proper taste of some Japanese. Hibiki 21. There's another one to compare. And Yamazaki 18 year old. We fit them all in there. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 